Hi guys, it is a chilly, wind-blasted spring day here in the end times in South Austin, Texas. Good Lord, we have somehow made our way to Sunday, March 23rd, 2014. And before I bring you my three-day late rant on International Happiness Day which went right under my radar three days ago before I think about how I'm going to celebrate uh, International Happy Day. Three days late, so I'm going to sit here on this Sunday morning drinking my Save the Planet cup of coffee and taking a peek into the end times to see how the end times are unrolling on this planet. Now, this picture is not from South Austin, Texas, yet anyway. This is from the Manila, from Manila, Philippines. I guess there was some big-ass slum fire yesterday where fire broke out in this shanty town in one of these overpopulated poverty racked mega cities over there in Asia 200 homes and I use that term loosely burned to the ground and here's this kid I guess he's about seven years old thinking about his future on World Water Day do you think this young man's mind was on the water crisis unfolding on planet Earth he probably had a Beyonce video burned up in the fire, and he's depressed about losing that. Or maybe it was his flat screen TV that got burned up, or maybe it was his Porsche outside. Anyway, we will return to the mainstream media in a minute, but let's see what... Those lefties over there at alternet.org. I always like to start on the left end of the spectrum. Let's see. How corrupt politicians partner with Wall Street to rip off American retirements. There you go. From corrupt politicians to crazy conspiracy theories about light bulbs. LEDs are very energy efficient, but they're also a threat to our health. There's wacko conspiracy theory about these about mercury and these little curly Q light bulbs that if you break one of these light bulbs it is like a miniature hazmat emergency in your home. This is one reason I don't buy those goddamn things. Anyway, here's why we should give e-cigarettes to mentally ill people. Alright, let's see. Uh, here's a true statement that I won't argue with. If Cesar Chavez were alive today, he would join the resistance against Walmart. The resistance against Walmart. I have not set foot in a Walmart since the year 2008. That is the Hambone resistance against Walmart. All right, well, let's just dive into the mainstream media today. Of course, we have to get past the uh, stories about the missing plane, which once again, once again, the number one story on the planet in the mainstream media, a story about a missing airplane. But let's move on down to the top of their regular news column. What is going on in Seattle today, huh? Search continues for survivors of massive Seattle area mudslide. Rescuers continued the search Sunday morning for survivors of a massive mudslide north of 
Seattle. Let's see if we can get a photo on what Seattle looks like. Uh, there you go. Who needs to go to the Philippines? That's right here in this country. All right. A rain-drenched mudslide swept across the highway north of Seattle, killing several people, destroying homes, and causing evacuations. All right. There we go. Uh, it's just things are just snap, crackle, popping all over the planet. But let's just go to my own state right here. The good old Lone Star State of Texas. While I was out partying last night with a bunch of Aggies at this big-ass picking party with a bunch of Texas Aggies, I guess, gee, there was another oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. What is this? Three days after BP was awarded all of these Gulf of Mexico drilling permits, we find the Reuters News headline greeting me Sunday morning oil spill cleanup efforts resume off Texas Gulf Shore. Hmm. Efforts to clean up an oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico off the Texas coast continued on Sunday with the deployment of four skimming vessels while another 20 vessels stood by ready to help blah, 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 have we heard this story enough times, guys? Apparently not, because Barack Obama, I think, just uh, sold off about $850 million of new oil leases in the Gulf of Mexico as he ramps up his all-of-the-above energy policy. Moving along, let's go. Well, we have some good news in the ocean from the other side of the planet. Sea Shepherd returns after anti-whaling mission. Environmental activist group Sea Shepherd has returned to land after their longest ever anti-whaling campaign, claiming to have saved more than 750 whales in their annual high seas showdown with Japanese whalers. You go, Sea Shepherd. One of the few, one of my few heroes left on this planet, the Sea Shepherd Society. Okay, we got bad news for surfers. I guess these bad news for surfers in Australia as climate change is wreaking havoc on Australia's waves. There you go. The three million surfers that hit the waves every year in Australia uh, may soon have no waves to hit. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, move past all the uh, missing airplane studies. All right, what's going on in the Netherlands today? We see world leaders gather for nuclear summit. Nuclear terrorism is officially the main topic for world leaders at a two-day summit in the Netherlands. Okay, nuclear terrorism is what's on the minds of those world leaders. What's on the minds of Nigerian police today? Nigerian police free pregnant girls in baby factory raid. Nigerian police raided a home near Lagos where eight pregnant girls were staying with plans to sell their newborn babies for nearly 
$2,000. Well, you don't have to pay $2,000 for a sub-Saharan African uh, anymore. I guess they're just uh, falling off boats for free all over the Mediterranean Ocean. You can have a free sub-Saharan African and save yourself $2,000. I'm glad to see... Uh, now, things have changed since slavery was outlawed. Okay, moving along for African babies for sale. Let's go right here back to our own country, uh, to New Mexico, where we find this headline, Workers Prepare to Return to New Mexico Nuke Dump. Yep. Employees at the federal government's troubled nuclear waste dump, yeah, troubled nuclear waste dump, are preparing to enter the facility's underground mine for the first time since a radiation leak contaminated it. There you go. There is somebody who really wants to get back to work. Good Lord, people and their desire to work for a living, yeah. Okay, moving on from leaky nuclear waste dumps. Here's more NSA snooping. Good Lord. All right. Uh... Skipping over a bunch of this shit from uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Let's see. More missing airplane stuff. Okay. How about this? We, we haven't seen much about the, the horsemen of the apocalypse. What is it? Pestilence? Is that it? Which one is the disease-carrying horseman of the apocalypse? And whenever I go looking for the four horsemen of the apocalypse, I don't know about you guys, I head to sub-Saharan Africa. Okay. Guinea hemorrhagic fever may have crossed into Sierra Leone. An outbreak of hemorrhagic fever that has killed 29 people in Guinea may have spread across the border into neighboring Sierra Leone, according to the World Health Organization. There you go. Bring on the epidemics. They will start in Africa and spread out from there, just like AIDS. Okay. What's going on over there in Poland here on the, in the end times of 2014? I would really like to know what the, what the truth is between the words of this horseshit uh, headline. Poland calls for larger U.S. military presence in Eastern Europe. The U.S. should increase its military presence in Poland and in other NATO member countries in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, yeah, I, 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 anyway, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to move along. Uh... All right, world markets recover on all that upbeat U.S. economic data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those world markets. Okay, here's, uh, let's send out a hand to the runaway circus elephants smashing cars. There you go. Uh, you go. You right. I love it when when those runaway circus elephants. I, I just love it when they stomp their damn uh, trainers, their slave drivers to death. I guess they didn't uh, take out any of their slave drivers. They just went straight for the gas sucking cars. Uh, and here are more stories on. 
Authorities work to contain oil spill. U.S. Coast Guard crews worked overnight to contain the latest oil spill near Texas City. Oh, boy. Is the Big Bang in the Bible? All right, I'll let y'all fight over uh, fight over that question. Let's see. I thought we just heard about all the world markets perking up with all this great data. And then I read, U.S. stocks pull back amid caution. Yeah, 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 Okay. There is, you know, guys, just trying to look at these headlines and decide which ones to uh, to jump in any one of these you, you can turn into a peek into the headlines if you learn how to read the mainstream media uh, la, la, la. now of course most of these were here yesterday a lot of stories about some teens run over by a train. All of this shit about Obamacare. I'm keeping to my promise to you guys never to talk about Obamacare. Oh, Lord. Well, I don't know, guys. Uh, there's got to be... Okay. What is the Catholic church up to on this Sunday morning? What's the Pope up to? Pope warns mobsters they risk going to hell. Pope Francis has a warning for Italy's mobsters. They will go to hell if they do not repent and renounce their, quote, blood-stained money and blood-stained power. There you go. Uh, the, the head of the Catholic Church. Perhaps the single most bloodthirsty genocidal maniacs in the history of human civilization. The Pope. The, uh, the ringleader uh, of, of this gang of evil bloodthirsty maniacs talking uh, uh, to the Italian uh, mafia uh, about that they're going to go to hell. I assure you guys, uh, the Catholic Church has spilled a hell of a lot more blood on this planet, uh, both human and otherwise, to make their money than the goddamn uh, mafia ever will. Jesus. Pope. The Pope ought to know damn well about uh, the risk of going to hell. Jesus Christ. Where was I? D. D. More Obamacare. Alright. Here's Somalia closing in. What a. All right, we're going to be seeing more and more of these articles, all the different analyses, these mainstream media analyses of this new UN climate change report that I talked about on Wednesday. This is Reuters' uh, review of this latest one. Climate change to disrupt food supplies and break growth. Global warming will disrupt food supplies, slow world economic growth, and may already be causing irreversible damage to nature, according to a UN report that will put pressure on governments to act. That'll pressure on those governments to act. 
Let's see, more drug violence in Mexico, more protests breaking out in Brazil. Let's see. Oh, more depressed teenagers. Okay, what is going on? In East Africa today, we have the headline, Counting the Cost of East Africa's Poaching Economy. Organized crime gangs in East Africa are generating staggering profits, smuggling ivory and rhino horn with impunity. Experts say threatening both an irreplaceable wildlife heritage and key tourism industry. And Kenyan and Tanzanian ports are the primary gateway for ivory smuggled to Asia. For anyone who does not understand how that one works. Okay. Let's see. Here's another story on the Pope telling the Mafia to stop doing evil. Yep. As he met relatives and their victims yeah, the victims of the Catholic Church. Let's, uh, don't get me started. Okay. Oh, I guess here's this new Cold War ramping up between uh, the U.S. and Russia. Jesus Christ, haven't we been through this story enough? Okay, let's get back to this UN climate report. This is the French news service, AFP, weighing in on their analysis. UN scientists see grim future if no climate action. UN scientists are set to deliver their darkest report yet on the impacts of climate change pointing to a future stalked by floods, drought, conflict, and economic damages if carbon emissions go untamed. Untamed carbon emissions. I love this one. Uh, you know, I've often wondered, I, I noticed my end times rant from yesterday has garnered 22 hits on a planet of 7 billion people. So I guess I should take uh, lessons from this woman here. Woman's gibberish video goes viral. This is where this woman uh, just went on YouTube apparently spouting a bunch of gibberish. There you go. There you go. I now have a new viral video. All right. Uh, okay. Here's the... Philippine security forces arresting a bunch of its own leaders. Here's the NSA infiltrating China. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. Where? Let's get on down to the bottom of this. Gee, more missing. Airline news, and I guess the mainstream media started 
with the missing airplane and ended with a missing airplane. And with that, I've got to uh, get out on my rock since I've pre-recorded my Sunday Doomsday Sermon, which I just put on. But uh, I need to get out there and do my three-day late rant on, uh, on International Happiness Day, and I'm, where I'm going to be looking at this mainstream media story, How Depression Could Save Your Life. There you go. I am going to find out how my depression is going to save my life in the end times. But for this peek into the end times for Sunday, March 23rd, 2014, bye guys.